Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully uh, you're returning or finding us for the first time. I am, of course, Prophet of the Dragon. With me today, the wonderful, the talented, Salty Traveling See, We figured we'd team up today for this. Uh, well, Screen Rant's at it again. I don't think Salty's seen this, but... Shocking. I, you know, I... <laughs> I have seen so much burning garbage from Screen Rant I'm on this show, and it's funny to watch you because I'll I'll cover one article that says <sighs> one thing, and you'll cover another article that they contradict themselves on, and it's literally like being trapped on a bus with some mental patients. Uh, well, you know? the worst part about this is I've recorded a whole video, and and I of course no sound, so I'm I'm sitting here venting venting this all to you. I said let's just I've let's just do it, it together. I'm like you know what, screw it. We're we're gonna team yeah. up to take down this this awful awful production of. of our, one of our favorite things that they've ruined. I don't know why they can't get it right, but uh, I do. Now, <laughs> I, I know you do, but I, I, I'm the I'm the I'm the sweet summer child in this. I guess I, I don't like you know. Oh, I like the, yeah. It, we all know why, but I I just I can't I still can't fathom it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot. But I just want to preface that before we get to this article, I, there has been some a few comments. They've been, they haven't been attacking me, which thank you, I appreciate that because I read most yeah. of the comments. But yeah, there, there's some so there's some people that have been finding the channel like why why so much hate towards this and and it's it's not they, hate. So, well, it's, it, it's it's not hate because what you're literally saying is why don't you consume this this thing that in no way has the heart soul characters messages favorite scenes um key moments or any 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 of the plot development that made robert jordan's books beloved so i don't see that as hate that's literally saying stop gaslighting me stop lying to me and pretending that's it right that there. Is actually what it is stop you gaslighting know, so Yes. I, I, you know, I don't sit here and make rage videos. What I do is I tell you what's in my heart. And Steve, you, well, you make rage videos, but you're also, <laughs> Steve, and I'm not your therapist, nor would I ever want to be. But I think that the way that a lot of us are trying to deal with what's going on in entertainment, and it's not just Wheel of Time, is we're seeing so many things destroyed by people who seem to revel in the destruction of them. And for us, we have got to externalize this because the other thing is there are so many people out there that feel the same way as us. Like uh, not just about Wheel of Time, but Rings of Power. That that's why we're doing this is to tell people you're not crazy. Stop believing what I say are, are lies. Well, you yeah, know? that Disney, uh, everything. So all of it, right? They're all doing yes. it. But it's just like you know, stop I hate what they're doing. That that's that, that that's. It's not this, just you. It's millions and millions well, and that, of people. And that's and that's this. I think this article sort of sums up why I've just gone full attack mode on this, and why I don't trust anything they're doing, and why I come out very hot all the time about the things they say, because my biggest con contestation about this whole show has been you're just lying. You're lying to try and capture book book lovers to watch your show, and then you do nothing that's in the books. So we'll also the article, we'll keep talking about it. But just this, this, go ahead. Rafe told us who this show was for, well, and I've got those quotes. He didn't make this show for people who love the books. Seriously, this yeah. is what Rafe Judkins said. The show is not people for people who love the books and who know the books. The show is not people made for people who love fantasy as a genre. This show is made for someone who probably would have never picked up the book, The Wheel of Time, and doesn't watch fantasy adaptations. Yep. That explains yep. everything. Now, you got to ask yourself, then why would you adapt Wheel of Time? Well, they're well, not adapting it, and, they're, and in my opinion, again, they are lying to us about this just the way they are about Rings of Power, The Witcher, all of this stuff. All well, of this stuff. Probably shut up. When you no no you're good it's, it, and then on top of it the thing that really blood makes my blood boil is on top of saying all that because I've seen I've seen I've seen the quotes they're there they, they're made it for who they're made it for right why do you keep bringing book stuff up why do you keep saying why does every article say uh, the eye of the world was uh, pretty pretty well the uh, pretty good the adapt adapted they they got almost all of it it's like that that's all these articles for this show or they did it pretty faithfully and it's like. No, 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 there are people in, there are people that are in your chat and in my chat. And it was on a video I did where smile a while for me, Sarah started reading these books, started, you've just read the eye of the world. 
right? We got yeah. a lot of Sam stuff. and Nick McCabe, Nerd Poriel, a ton of people who Jacob read these Jacob Ironside. There's a Jacob whole Ironside. But Sarah, um, Sarah, uh, our smile a while for me said, I just, that she just finished book one, The Eye of the World. And she said, she tried watching this show and she's screaming. She's like, how, where are all the scenes from the books? Right. And so again, it's not being a nitpicky, I don't have anything to do with my, my life nerd because I got plenty of cool things to do with my life other than just, you know, scream into a microphone for no I reason. <laughs> Whoa. Go ahead. <laughs> you also identify as a kitchen table. You did that that's in my true, seven that's years. That's true, I did. I did uh, but my point with all that is the more people, I think the one thing that we're doing and I'm, what I'm most proud of with these videos is obviously I'd like to get the views and the comments and, and, and produce quality sure. material that means something is that people are picking up the books and yep. they're understanding this is a beautiful, wonderful story that Robert Jordan created and these characters are fantastic. And this show has got a, a hate hard on for destroying first and foremost, the three, in my opinion, most important pillars of that story, which would be Rand, Perrin and Matt. Yep. So no, it's like, look, so yeah. we can go that that's a whole, yeah. I'm with you, and it's it's when you hit these articles, I want to bring it up. This is these are the ones that that frustrate me to no end. Ten Wheel of Time season one moments pulled straight from the books. All right, so we all know, we all know that oh, that is a. It's going to be this stuff. kind of a video. So, okay. so no, no, all so, right, so, cool. so so if you, you I, I've only perused this because I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna make it in in, in like I just like screamed it at, at the screen for i don't really remember what i read when i made the other video. i blanked out you guys know i do that. i blanked out because it's like ah. it's true. so I, I maybe maybe i should release the uh, uh the no sound version where i'm just getting mad um but uh so amazon's wheel of time show may be plotting its own course no shit. sorry plotting its own course so there there is the uh so uh, the, like i don't know why it, they it's double talk phone. They always self-own before they even start these. Plotting, well, that means that they didn't do this. Yeah. So I like, can't think of ten moments pulled straight from the books unless you were really, unless these, you were getting an argument with a toddler. These unless examples you were getting are so bad, dude. Okay, so here we go because we we may I may have to split this into two videos because we could be just going because here we go. But worth it's worth Hang noting on. that several key scenes were pulled directly from the books. Okay. Okay. Here we go because all they're all bad and they're all wrong, uh, because, and we're gonna get to it right now. So there we have. I another. swear to God, if that she, if that one sentence, I, 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 I swear this looks like she's in a uh, Kill Bill movie. I'm waiting for uh, Uma Thurman to throw her ass off a balcony or something. Gonna start like doing hip hop keto like in the freaking Power Rangers. Okay, sorry. All right, getting distracted. In spite of the changes made to Robert Jordan's story, season one was packed with moments pulled directly from the source material. No. This is the best they no. can do, by the way. Ten, they've got ten of them. Remember, uh, this were, is the best they could do. Okay. The, honest to God, it's it hard. would be very generous to say that the eye of the world, it contains 2% of the eye of the world. But see, so it's the, a like, 700 page book. Just listen to this, okay? Season one was packed with moments. Amazon made a number of massive alterations to the books. Yeah, this, this is what a gender studies uh, degree will get you. You can do this, where you essentially say, this thing is terrible, but I need to have control over it so I can make it all about something that yeah, it I has mean, absolutely like, nothing to do with. I mean, congratulations, chronology. this is Marxism. Here you go. The chronology of events and even the characters themselves have been subject to some noteworthy changes. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's beyond cell phone. I mean, basically, it, it, there's so many great things from the books, except that everything is different. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. I, I just whatever. These people are morons. Yeah. So it's like so. It, in light of how things may ha have played out, it's become abundantly clear that the Wheel of Time has taken liberties with George's work. No shit. Uh, that's evident by Rand's decision to enter the self imposed exile, and even Egwene's role in Faldar, where they, one of them died and was reborn. Thank you very much. I know that was pulled from the books. Although some elements of the story are undeniably different, it's worth noting that show stack sticking to, to the overarching narrative. No, it's not. The problem with this is those. Let's go back to that sentence where it says it's evidenced by Rand's decision to enter a self-imposed exile. This is very, very wrong because there are scenes within the book of the Great Hunt, with again, and I've talked about this in my videos from when the show came out. This show will not allow men to mentor boys. 
There can be no man who is competent. They either have to be stupid or subservient or evil or all of those. And so by sending Rand off, I mean, the characters, the show's Rand off, they skip doing all of the problematic scenes of him mentoring and then standing up to the women at the tower who are going to use it. The show would never show that. The show would never show that. Oh, and as far as Nynaeve, you know, show Nynaeve and Egwene's battle in Feldara, that entire battle was Rand. That was Rand who did that. It was not these two multicultural like actresses, you know, with the power of love and then being Duracell batteries for, you know, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Eglamar's but, sister. Oh, Jesus. Well, it was like, like it's so, this so, is so dumb. Far, so, so this far, you got, two, you got two paragraphs doing a great job of showing us how the Wheel of Time TV show is not the Wheel of Time TV show. Like, tell me. Tell it's me a, you haven't read the books, but by not telling me you haven't read the books, this is classic. This is a so, meme so this at this is, Yeah, so, so various books, blah, 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 blah. So I know number 10 is below us, so here we go. I'm going to try and I'm gonna try and unveil them to not only Salty, but, but you and the audience. I want to see your comments about some of these because, holy crap, they, they dug deep and they're not even good. And they're not even yeah. accurate. So here we go. 10. They couldn't Dude, get – they couldn't up. get 10. Okay, so – you know, I'm going to try and do these one at a time, you know, because we want to be, you know, we want the surprise of the 10, right? So, oh boy, man, they, they dug deep for these. Here we go. Number 10, Rub, r Rub. I'm going to start calling Rub, Rand Rub. Rand discovers the accurate. truth about Tam. That was such a letdown for a variety of ways. Uh, <laughs> but it's just like, 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 are we not digging deep? <laughs> like, are we not digging deep they, to, that that is a they, plot point that they thought was important that they had to pull it from the book? Like, this is like, I mean, they, they <laughs> the way took, they did it was shit, too. Well, they, they took a scene that in the book goes on for a while. And it's important because you start to really understand who Rand is. It's something called character development. And the way that that's done is with an internal monologue. But not only that, something that they they really did a terrible job and skipped over of Rand trying to drag his father, who's dying in delirious through a frozen night while being chased by enemies that he only thought were imaginary. And he's having to confront this. It, it, it was perhaps one of the most early disappointing things well, to occur it, well, in this show. When they even mentioned it here, decided that it appeared the show decided to scrap the moment in the Eye of the World where Rand found out about found out that Tam wasn't his real father. Well, yeah, I still stand by the fact that they did scrap it because what they did with that awesome scene that should have that could have been a full episode of Rand just trying it to save his should have been it should have been because it... that what that could have been man. If and you could have had all the girl power stuff in the village you wanted to do. But you needed to focus on Rand. And to me, this was where the series told you this is not about Rand Althor I've, I've, at all. I've, at all. I, I, there's not. There's one person that should be more pissed than I mean, that's Joshua I, Sardowski. Is that a, because mm. this could have been such a dramatic moment. This could have been one of those like, holy fuck. This guy like, would have a movie like, career. Like, he probably just, would just have left the show if, if the... they had a competent story well, written playing... by competent screenwriters and a showrunner who even tried to pretend that this was Robert Jordan's story. I think, and we've talked about this, the actor they cast for this could have could have done oh, this yeah. probably. Oh yeah, but 100%. But they wrote it where they neutered him and he's basically just He's just background for Nineen and Egwene, and of yeah. course, the star of the show, Roseman Pike. I always forget his name, but he's a great actor. He was Roose Bolton in Game of Thrones, and he 100% could just jo the two of them, Rand yeah. and, and Tam, this actor and him, they could have just. They could have nailed it, and you could have had so many people just with a broken heart because Rand is dealing with that whole moment of him, you know, his his, his father is dying, having a fever dream. And then he tells he, he he it just comes out that you know all the truth right, and it doesn't matter to Rand. It doesn't matter. He's you know it still doesn't matter. He's his father. I'm still and convinced. Him struggling that with that, and and the way they did it just, and then and then to and then to do it as a flashback in like frick what was it episode six or seven? Mm -hmm. I mean, come, it's like, stop it. I'm still stop. convinced that there was another script to this show and that okay. it was probably grim dark. And we saw that leaked PDF that we did, I think on my channel, but that I think is worth revisiting.
Yeah. Where uh, it was a lot more Game of Thronesy. And now, would that have been a better adaptation than what we've got? We the, probably than what we got, obviously, because this is a not adaptation written yeah. by uh, Amanda Schumann, who doesn't know these books, who comes from Chuck, who comes from shows like uh, I, I don't like secret agent shows and sitcom stuff. And they Rafe Judkins put her in here, and then they blamed it on my COVID and all this other nonsense. <laughs> and now we're stuck with 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 this. You know, so I it's mean, like for, the difference for, yeah. between this show in Batwoman and Netflix's uh, Blood Origin, there is none to me. No, it's the isn't. same idiocy. It's the same, in my opinion, uh, creative malpractice uh, in making a maladaption that essentially is just hitting checkboxes. And yeah. it doesn't even have any story to it. Like, there's no well, story because, to this. Because, because it's like, yeah, you know what? You're right. It's sort of in there. Sort of. But not not even close to what it should be so okay i guess one point to screen rant because this was actually in the show sort of but they did a terrible job with it right so I, I don't know this is like half a point because the scene was wrong this isn't even a cliff notes version by somebody who just looked at the cliff notes before they took a test that's how this feels this this is faking it when the teacher caught you uh, not having read the book and you're making bullshit up just to make it look like you do. And the more you make up, the more you dig yourself in a hole and show that you really have no idea what you're talking about. Yep. Well, I mean, thank God oh, Lorraine Christ. recognizes that oh. Wayne can channel. <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is what this is what I'm talking about. This is me. This is what I'm saying about digging deep. They're like, no, like, what do you mean? Like, like, thank God that she sat in the forest and taught her how to focus on her gem. I mean, I guess like fine. Like, that's that's fine. Yeah, that's in the books, but like but like, it's, it's so a minor. tiny little thing it's, it's a so tiny little minor. thing and they focus on this versus all of the other stuff with the drag car with them hiding in a log the drag, the drag uh, i mean of course in all of this they removed thom um, <laughs> who was also in him field i mean again they didn't focus on rand uh our land leading them they didn't focus on tom pulling it together they didn't show moy rain being uh, which Bad is a cardinal ass. sin of this show that she's manipulative and she's bossy, but she's really powerful in the sense that she keeps recharging all of the Emmons field five, because these are small town kids who never left really where they came from. She's feeding them energy so they can keep running away from the Trollocs in the fades in the Dragar. It's she's completely extreme. gone. So they can sit in the woods and have a girl power gender studies. You're the bestest ever moment with a queen. It's dumb. It's dumb. She's, she's Moraine is really really smart and they took away a lot of her big moments because she yeah. she had to get hit by a giant sword and and survive instead of tom instead of, not tom instead of tam you know and that's that's again that's tam's moment tam got stabbed tam tam almost dies and then they leave because tam is recovering now they gave that to moraine for some fucking reason they gave it to rosamund so, pike well, all well, these, all well, of these why? decisions like, are why? not it's... based on characters in the book. They're based on how can we keep Rosamund Pike on the screen. They give it's the same. So she can be girl I, boss. I can overcome anything. It's like, the, well, I see. I, I honestly, Steve, don't think that they give two shits at all. And, and to me, I said the bait and switch happened in episode three. This is just about how do we keep Rosamund Pike on screen because these books, I think Amazon thinks these books are terrible. Uh, somebody told him this was Game of Thrones. It's not. So now let's turn it into Rosamund Pike show. And that's what we've got. And oh, uh, even Egwene and Naive, the, you know, the, the BIPOC female, you know, kind of Mary Sue nonsense they're doing here. It's still secondary that, to keeping Rosamund Pike on the screen. Now, I don't I don't hate Rosamund Pike. I think she's a capable, comparable actress a uh, competent actress the problem is is that what they're doing is ignoring so much source material where if she did play the role she does in the books this show would launch her into other things because oh, she God. could actually demonstrate and act because of the gravitas and the depths of so many moments yeah. in the books I, I instead mean, we've gotten I this actually, crash writing you know what i actually i'm gonna i'm gonna say my state they should all be angry Every single actor and actress in the show should all be angry because they're taking all these emotional moments that could have sh they could have shown off their acting skills. They've taken them away and made it into this kindergarten bullshit. It's like, look, like it's, it's like, okay, yeah, it's in the book. To it's it's in, in its entire it's, it's, like, it's like a, it's a it's like three pages. Note. 
It's like three pages. They sit down. She goes, ooh, and she learns. She's like, oh, okay. And that's – it's like, whereas we've missed – we've lost all of Winter Night. We've lost what? all of Tom. We've this, lost this all of – This I mean – this proves what we what we all said, which is this show. Somebody sat down to do how how many girl power moments can I grab in a post-it note, stick it on a wall, and then create scenes around. Oh, yeah. Missing the forest for the trees, and the you know the forest is the story. You know these girls, Nynaeve, Egwene, are important, but what they've done is they've actually destroyed those characters as well, just as much as they did Rand, Matt and Perrin, because yeah. you never build the characters for them yeah. ever, that's why, ever. That's why, that's why so I'm, it's, yeah. there's no story here. It's just, all right, well, okay. We need to keep Rosamund Pike on the screen for 75% of each episode. Uh, grab me some sentences out of a book. We'll, 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 we'll create some nonsense that makes yeah. no sense. And, and that's, that's what the show's yeah. going to do again in season and 2. That, and that's why I'm going to I'm going to start saying they should all be men because they've all been robbed of great lines and great dialogue and things that can make them show off their skills. So they should yeah. all be men. This was yeah, okay. Great. Uh the gem the gem gem part that 5 minute 5 uh pages in the books uh made it. It was really important that we we had a little uh confab in in the freaking forest and translated oh, rather right. accurately to live action and look stuff. that whole yeah, part I, I can't look, no 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 well that look no no, no look it it was there that's, you know I'm it not, was I'm there say, it, wasn't, the it wasn't there who cares like, but it was a breadcrumb it was a breadcrumb in the thing. background of so, other things that were so much more important that, what that's what I'm trying to highlight with this is it's like the things they are picking right it's like yes. Wow. So you're telling me that, that that little scene, you're calling it an adaptation because even though you missed everything prior to that, you give you, you, you injure Moraine so she can be girl boss and survive a Thakandar blade. And, uh, and uh, you know, she steals Tam's moment. She steals Tam's moment, survives, all that. Uh, you know, even though we lost, we've lost probably 90, 95% of everything. Thank goodness we have the the uh, the, moment, the the five minutes where she actually does something that happens in the books. It's literally like taking this the scene from The Hobbit. This one where the me where the dwarves, uh, you know, what happens between what happens uh, when they leave Hobbiton and and you know when they get to the Lonely Mountain and then just skipping all of it and then making it about uh, one thing. It's like, you know, it's literally just doing that. Like, instead of them encountering what happens with the goblins, you actually run into a goblin who is oppressed and they build a, a storyline about this oppressed goblin uh, who it's really all the dwarves' fault that uh, that the goblins are oppressed. That's literally kind of what the, the show has been about, is missing, like Steve said, 95, 98% of the story to just basically like, oh, yeah, we need to have a scene with goblins and dwarves. Imagine if they did that in The Hobbit, you know? This is this one pissed me off. Tom, oh, don't even get me started. I can't even have a I can't have a an intelligent conversation where I don't use the f word every other word talking about Tom. This was one of the greatest missed opportunities and the most obvious of intersectional uh, feminists uh, that have never read the source material coming in. I mean, they're making Tom into a Clint Eastwood like character at one point in season one in an episode. You can actually hear like. Uh, uh, like a like a little bit of a of a half-assed clip from the good, the bad, and the ugly when Tom's walking and you hear his spurs jangle. Tom is a grandfatherly, worldwise grifter, entertainer type who is essential to the development of the boys throughout when they escape from Lemons Emmons Field, particularly for Rand and Matt. He's training them how to how to do musical instruments. He's educating them on what the world is outside of Emmons yeah. Field. And that's entirely that's removed that. because you yeah. have to make it a about Rosamund Pike, and you have to do women are in control. So yep. they sacrifice no. again the entire story. And this character isn't even going to be in season two because oh, why? No. Well, why? And, and, and here and it's like, but he saved them. So it's like, even listen to this the Wheel of Time changed Tom's, Tom's story, moving into introduction to after the characters left the two rivers, which is a huge loss. One thing that didn't change, though, it was the part Tom played helping. Yeah, it it a hundred. The entire scene of, of just, what happened at well, White Bri White Bridge is gone. Well, because just because of just what you said, Tom. The whole point of Tom is Tom is giving Rand and Matt specifically tools to survive on their own. 
all of that is now and none of that none of that happens he doesn't help them like he barely helps them like he, he oh he kills the one fake dark friend who's in like the the mustache twirling uh, dark friend in whatever fucking city that was that nobody knows what it is right he's there for five minutes he's there for maybe two episodes and then the scene is just wrong because then uh took in see directly took inspiration from the books so does that sound like from the books inspiration from the books tom appeared to die fighting so tom appeared to die fighting the fane buying time for random matt to get away yeah white bridge white bridge i mean right. and here's the thing so, well, there's a reason... right there. the setting may have changed from white bridge to a farm but the story itself remained intact as for tom no Kane, it doesn't no it doesn't and here's the reason why one of the very first videos i did on my channel long before i was ever monetized was was talking about the decision to age these characters up and i said it then it, it was like early 2021 that it's go the changes are fractal and they're deliberate and none of us knew what they were going to do but the reason why they aged these characters up was so that for the boys they did not need to have male mentors okay and, and essentially when you have them be older than they were in the books and i'm going to die on that hill i am going to die on that hill i will um in more i wouldn't even call them mature they're just flat adult characters it's they important. don't need yeah. to have male mentors they don't need it and i truly believe that rafe judkins did that because again intersectional feminism in making it the moraine rosamund pike show but th this is yeah. where this list starts going way way of field and starts making i'm shocked, shit as a go I'm shocked. screen rant has jumped the shark the next I'm one's shocked. even worse okay because it's like well tom happens it's like it's it's not from the books if it's not from the books okay and this is not it's like just because tom died because he's dead like look tom should be dead okay because the way you did it in the show was ridiculous it wasn't even a good scene i mean it, it was like how the fade was moving was okay but the way tom is the whole point the whole point and the whole reason was the fade completely ignored him it, it, it tried to go through him and that's the only reason tom survived and guess what the where they put him in the show to get through him they had to kill him because he was in a box yeah in in the, here's the, in, in the book here's, he's in the middle of a freaking city street with a bunch of people you see the light you know he gets his daggers out you see the freaking the sparks going up when they engage and then later you find out how he survived because the fade didn't give a fuck about him excuse my language yeah. sorry and he Oh, you can swear all you want in your own channel. I don't care. I, well, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to cut down. Sorry, but but it's, it's like so to say this is like to say this is from the books is is not it's it's false. It's it's I'll again start. just because you took two names, just because you you're like okay, well Tom dies because of a fade. We think. Well, yeah. then okay, how do we write that in a way? And again, I think it's. I've had a lot of time to think about this, obviously. Uh, I really do think all of these decisions were made for one reason, and that is to keep Rosamund Pike centered on the screen. Who has time to develop these characters? Who has time to develop this fascinating, wonderful character who's so endearing and wonderful in the books? Uh, you know, Tom Marilyn. Who has time to go into the backstory? If you do that, you take time away from Rosamund Pike. You know? that, oh, sure. And I think it's becoming really, really clear I guarantee you this within the first 30 seconds of episode two or episode one of season two, we're going to know everything. We're going to know everything that happened in season oh, one was deliberate. And now I am entirely convinced these oh, characters yeah. were removed to keep Rosamund Pike on the screen. And also because it's too hard to write actual, uh, fantasy genre it's one of the more difficult i think right. uh genres to write well, they, for. Keep, they keep fucking it up so and to give it to amanda showman <laughs> to give it to amanda schumann who and i've got a clip i'm going to drop in a video soon where you guys reacted to it that rafe judkins said that amanda schumann was the best writer he knew and even though she had never read these books and never worked on a fantasy property, that she was going to do a great job making an entertaining television show. Well, it failed because it's not an adaptation, and it also failed because it's not an entertaining show. Amazon has never released the viewing figures outside of episode one for this, and they never will. They never will. So, so number. Oh, seven. I want to buy a used car. This is good. Number thing. seven. Okay, so anybody. So, and I want you to comment on this if you if you're watching along. 
Does anybody that's watching this video, I know, Salty, I'm sure you feel the same way. Does anybody, anybody that has read the books feel like they did Rand justice in episode eight and that they, that this, that this, it's like, because Rand in, 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 well, I don't know why they call him Ishmael because in the show right now, there's no sign that he's Ishmael, by the way. No, but anybody, no. does anybody who's read the books think that this should be on this list because it was in the books? Just because Rand and Ishmael stand in the same room together doesn't mean that they pulled anything from the book. But they didn't pull any of it from the book. The show, there's no book this, here. None. This show, this show jumped the shark even more because they're not actually in the same room. You have Moiraine who's in control holding a sleeping Rand. So all of that scene occurs in a dream Rand is having with this guy who they say is Ishmael. But I'm going to guarantee you in season two, this is the same guy that, San that Rand who should, in spoilers, should have a huge battle in the air with only oh, a guy named uh, uh, Balsamon. Only I think it's going to be this guy. See, uh, and I don't think it's going to be in the air. They're probably just going to have a one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. That's going to decide what so happens you're, in Felon. And you're right. I'm glad you said that because don't even, it's, it's wrong. He doesn't fight Ishmael. He fights Balsamon. <laughs> This is he what I'm talking so, about. So, like, 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 this is the thing. It's like you're, you're a hundred. Like, and, and you could call it semantics, but it's not. It's based. Ishmael is insane. He thinks he's the dark one. He is going by Balsamon. He is not Ishmael right now. He is Balsamon. The only reason we find out he is Ishmael is because later they tell us he's Ishmael, and he went nuts. For those of you who are Tolkien it. fans, it would it would be the equivalent of turning turning Saruman into um, you know the Witch King of, of Andor. I mean, just because it's yeah, easier, yeah. right? Because yeah. they're both bad guys, right? You so know, it's like, like he's, he's not. It's like, so it's like we don't. The, the the show never says anything about Ishmael. I don't think at all. Maybe on the stupid chessboard, they refer to him as the Dark One. He's not. He's never balls him on. So anytime you reference him, especially saying, "Oh, Rand versus Ishmael is from the books," bullshit. There, and here's no. the problem. Even, I don't even, care. Even even. Even if this was a 50% adaptation, and I'll be even more generous, even if it was a 25% of the story adaptation, I don't think any of us would be losing it the the, no. the amount that we are over this. The fact the fact is is it is demonstrably, empirically, non emotionally, and objective objectively, absolutely in no way <laughs> the story or the characters that Robert Jordan created, and it's like. All it, I, 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 I sit here and I struggle with trying to put myself into the brain of somebody who could sit there in, into my, in my opinion, lie, yeah, just well, lie that well, this is an adaptation, and I'm a divisive book fan. You know, yeah. if you, if you, if you bought this property and you made it for an audience that doesn't like fantasy, that has never read the book series, and you're just going to make your own thing, then say that you know what this is. This is loosely based upon uh, Robert Jordan's world, and. and and stop, and stop attacking stop. us and stop saying 70%. Rafe Judkins said 70% of the people who read the books think they, that our show stop is actually better than what faithful. Robert Jordan stop, said. Stop saying it's been faithful because it's not. It's not There's even close to faithful. faithful. So stop no. all that noise. And it's Just not a it matter. Is. It's not a matter of interpretation. It's, it's literally go look at a study guide for any of the books for the eye of the world for the great hunt for the dragon reborn there's some good ones out there. i mean just this is the first, amazon go, the time it, show rewrote it, the majority of the so how do you put this on your list rewrote the majority of the final battle of Isle of world by moving the green man baltimore and agnor how this did you could put have this been on amazing a list of, why didn't the green man that scene now we've seen in season like, two there is, is a fade for loyal Oh my god. I agree, but but Lo but the Loyal had no character development. You well, don't know who the hell Loyal is. You know you don't know what his steading is. You don't know that his mom's trying to get him married. You don't know that he's this wonderful, sweet, kind guy who really likes Rand because they don't have time to develop Loyal any more than they do to develop Rand Matt and Perrin. Rand. He is fucking Rand's bro from the fucking start, man. And it's just like it's a none of that. It's a beautiful scene. And again, why did they do it? 
I think intersectional feminism again because you can't show men bonding, not needing women. And again, because Rosamund Pike is the star Wait. of the show. Every single decision I mean, is made only to make sure she is front and center. Listen, listen to listen to their own words and how do they put this on the list? I oh my god, I want to hit myself in the what, head with a hammer. This but, is but nuts. While, but while what I what it produced contrasted greatly from what happened on the page, Rand's showdown with Ishmael disguised. No, Rand's Balsamon disguises the dark one. I d look, it matters. Like anybody that says it doesn't matter, he is not Ishmael anymore. He is Balsamon. He's gone fucking nuts. He has a name. Look, and that and that's why I say it matters. Ishmael is not his real name. It's the moniker he goes by as a Forsaken. So if he chooses to go by another name because he's a different fucking entity in, in his own mind, it matters. Ishmael the problem is not with the this same is as Balsamon. So you may think that we're getting into minutia, but it matters because when you identify what evil is and what a threat is for characters, and then you understand the complexity of each one of them and how these three Taverin from Emmons Field have a whole host of absolutely powerful, crazy, evil, timeless bad guys after them. Just me saying that should be exciting and interesting how do these kids survive dealing with these people who have all of these complex plans and are so much smarter than they are doesn't that sound like a good show to do and the then we got this we got this i don't know what this is this is like batwoman only with rosamund pike and there's no bat costume that's why i'm upset i should see flaming eyes and be like holy like like Rand should be literally wetting himself when he sees them. There should be dreams. There are dreams, and there's again, like what? There's like one or two dreams, and one. I, I don't even want to get into that because you're right. But it, there's, your like, there's a whole level of mind fuckery out. going around on, and we barely get any of it. And then, and then he morphs if, into this. What? Like, like, and you're missing the whole point of Ishmael by just letting him have a body. He's insane from using. I don't want. Okay, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Quick spoiler. You can say spoilers. Quick, spoiler, yeah. quick spoiler, don't watch it. He's insane because he's using the true power, which is a power that is a, only given access to by the Dark One. So he used it so much, he literally went fucking insane. Yeah. Even though he has a con, because guess what? It's more powerful and he gets to feel more evil and all of that. He is literally the Dark One's boy. So... It matters. It fucking 100% it, matters. It, it it does. And here's the big miss. Amazon executives, Amazon people, if you're watching this, <laughs> you, when you bought the show, uh, I, I would assume it was based on because you wanted something as successful in moving and gripping as Game of Thrones was up until the last couple of seasons. You bought a property that would have done that. Yep. You, however, brought in a showrunner whose previous experience included failing with agents of shield and some other truly mediocre things who then brought in a, a, a writer who did Chuck and uh, the blacklist, no experience doing this at all. You ended up with a show that entirely missed so much great success and it could have gotten you what it is that it appears okay. that you want. And I'm not judging you for this, which would have been Emmys. Oh, you would God. have had something that could have been legendary that would have ended up going up to the big screen. Instead you were in my opinion, lied to and cheated by the people you put in charge of this show. Now, I don't know whose responsibility that is, but I would say, looking at your stock price, look at what's going on on your streaming service. That's what happened. Yep. Okay. You have a chance to stop all of this. You still own the properties for this. You already built a studio in Eastern Europe. You could put maybe $20,000, $30,000 into each season of this. If you had a good story and it would it would go crazy. Just pretend this never happened. Please no, do that. I, I Please wish do. they would. I wish they would. But they, but you're right. It would stand up there at like everybody like Lord of the Rings is a gold standard. This could have been up there if you just 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 do what they did. But whatever. I mean, we could talk about that till freaking. I mean, the MTV's The Shinara Chronicles is a more faithful adaptation right. than this. Like, Think about that one a second. How how Rand's showdown with Ishmael, disguised as the Dark One, is accurate to the books. How, oh, how, how, being, how, apart, how is it accurate? How, apart how is from it accurate? being the show's vision of Egwene, knowingly channeling the one power for the first time, Rand That's overpowered not... Ishmael and won their battle, wrongly believing he was done with the villain for good. How how can you even how 
how can you watch what that happened at the eye of the world what happened at who went to the eye of the world we kind of missed that whole point of who all went there who was with them uh who they met at the eye of the world uh the big pool of uh sardine that was they, they, they don't exist Okay. that doesn't exist um the, the the actual scenes that happened in the books that are all perfectly written the green man's involvement in all of this everything and then of course what happens you know they steal valor from rand to give it to agomar's sister is it agomar what the hell is yeah. his name the Aglemar. guy yeah, yeah. 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 agomar's sister who's a non-existent entity in the books yep. to then have the bullshit with a and nynaeve acting like duracell batteries yep. in a scene that this was rand because this was him becoming the Dragon Reborn and it was terrifying to him. All of that was taken away because they needed to give it to all the other characters who were female to give them something to do. Yeah, then, then they cure death with which, uh, you know, they're going it, it, to It's just, I mean, again, th this is like giving children a Monet painting and then they take finger paints, finger paints and they paint over it. What do you think of this one? I am so, <laughs> I am so angry. <laughs> Okay, out of all the women in the books, I I I loved oh. Min a lot. Street smart girl that they meet in uh, Barillon, who yep. is so. There's a whole storyline that goes on in Barillon that's really wonderful, and it's a lot of fun, and it's great, and it helps build the characters. and And Min is this wonderfully mysterious, strong, independent woman who's written that way in the books, but she is not a Portland played out barista part-time uh you know uh I, I don't know drag enthusiast like like who's all tatted up like this you, is this character this characterization is disgusting to me it is probably one of the worst things they could have done in the show it has nothing to do with race it has everything to do with the people writing this in amanda schumann what she identifies has an, i believe an iconic strong independent oh. woman like this which is it's just it's gross okay, okay, it's disgusting just, and it blew up what min is it blew they, it up they could have put her in, i mean i don't this isn't my men but they could have gave her the right hair put her in breeches uh yeah her up a little bit and and it could have been i i don't this is not the actress i would have picked for men by far but they could yeah. if they at least tried uh they could have done it but no she's just some grumpy barmaid who uh you know can i, I guess they, they told and they totally got her viewings wrong Yep. They, they have no they have no understand they have no understanding this of is how a Min's character power actually who, works this None. is a character in the books and it's a it's a light spoiler who can see what's going to happen to someone an interpretation, sort of. an interpretation but they have to be in close proximity and she doesn't know what it means and sometimes it's really cloudy and sometimes they did this in the most does. lazy expository way uh i'm going to tell you something in one second that should have been shown because it's really hard to write she scenes that show something being true you have to sit there and tell them because then you get to do this affirmation with the intersectional feminism it's just it's I, it's a I joke just, it is it is a joke in this I, love how, I love how they, they they list these and then they can immediately uh they immediately give a line that shows you that it's not from the book and then they tr go backtrack and say it is from the book considering that min was introduced before the re they reached Sh shadow Logoth, or as they say, Shadar Lagoth. Min uh, appeared in Faldara is a significant departure from the original story. So how is this on a? So you just how do you say this is from the books? If you that's the you just said it's not. You just you just said it's not. Am I wrong? Please tell me. The if sentence I'm wrong. doesn't make any sense because Min wasn't introduced before they reached Shader Logoth. She was introduced uh, in episode was... six or seven. No, I'm saying no, in the show. No, no, oh, the she show, was in the she show. Was, yeah. Well, no, no. So I think what they're saying is, is in the books she was introduced before Shadow Logoth. Okay. So what they're saying is, is in the books they introduced her early, but it's a significant departure from the books because in the show they announced her and showed her in Faldara. So they're saying that it's not from the books. It's made up Here, bullshit because she's in Faldara. Steve, I just had one of those moments where you and I and everybody who's covering this analytically. We have literally put more time into thinking about the story and what it should be than the people who were given money and have their names on this show. Literally, we have put more time into what the story should be than the people who actually put this garbage on screen. It, it's it's demoralizing. It's demoralizing. And people, you know, there may be some people who are laughing at us and thinking that we're haters. It's just that this is all so incredibly obvious.
it is so obvious that Rafe Judkins has no idea what the hell he's doing. It is patently obvious that Amanda Schumann should have never been let anywhere near her. It is also obvious to me, in my opinion, that any executive who was responsible for this and making sure that it, it, it went well has utterly failed. And then whoever is the lore expert on this show, how, how can you in any way pretend that you have been what it is that you've said? I don't know what you've been doing, but it sure it ha it sure as hell hasn't been in being an expert on anything to do with any of these books in any way. It's crazy because they, I, they say, I, it's they, they disgusting. say it's not from the books, and they go on, and then then you get half a paragraph making saying, "Well, it's some of it is, but you know, it's not really, but some of it is." It's I mean, exposition that, dump. It's an exposition dump, and they literally had like a bunch of characters, including drag queen Loyal, sitting in a bar when Min told them what she was in a "I'm a cocksure with my, uh, you know, feminist uh, weird haircut girl empowerment horse shit thing." It's it's it's. I mean, it's, it's like, oh yeah, it's more, so Moraine, played out. Moraine it's went so up and said, out. "Hey, will you?" It's like, "Will you look at them and tell me?" Oh yeah, uh, there's this fucking bullshit thing, and it's like, oh, okay, good. That's like basically the scene. I mean, it's like, and it's like, I don't know, man. It's just to say, it's, I just, I like, how can you say this? How can you say this is how? Like, we're you arguing see what I'm with why this crazy people because they're, Steve, they're just we're arguing. With, we're we're arguing with people who only know how to gaslight because it's part of intersectional feminism and maoism is to take up take a, an untruth and to keep repeating that untruth and then you sit there and use logic and and the problem is is that it's a disingenuous argument yep. and we sit here and say logic 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 and they keep saying lies and then once we get upset about that and say you're not acting in good faith what the hell's wrong with you then they say see look you're being aggressive. You're being, you know, you're a toxic fan. And, and that is not a very good marketing plan. You guys at Amazon and every other studio, you might want to rethink that. But honestly, by the people, it appears that you've hired in your industry. You, they have no ability to actually do what it is that used to work. They used to make people a lot of money and also used to make shows that were good. And you're going to burn you're going to well, burn for that. Just, Your industry is going to collapse. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this far. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Uh, this one got a little bit long, so we're going to split it into two. So if you want to see uh, list uh, <laughs> the list from five to one, uh, we'll, we'll, that should be up tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, if I can get it edited, should be no problem. So uh, and I hope you enjoyed what we had to say here. We got a lot to say, obviously, because this one got real long. But if you want to see five through one, uh, tune in tomorrow for part two of this stupid screen rant article. Uh, thanks again for watching, and until next time, all hail the Lord Dragon. Have a great one.